Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to be talking about Mono, because Mono is dead and I don't want you to whine about it. <laughs> that sentence will make sense in a couple of minutes. It'll still be a terrible joke, but it will make more sense. Now if you've never heard of it before, Mono is what enables .NET code to run on different platforms. At least it used to be. Now, once upon a time, it was created by a company called Zimian, which was bought by Novell, which then was bought out by Xamarin, which was the original people that started Zimian, and Xamarin was purchased by Microsoft, and that is what ended up with Mono. Now, Mono uh, is an open source implementation of .NET. Originally, it was a compatibility layer of .NET that enabled you to run .NET code on like Linux, etc. Uh, and the thing is, um, Mono was actually the runtime that was used in uh, Unity game engine, the Godot game engine. In a nutshell, if you were writing a game using the C-sharp programming language and it was running on another platform other than Windows, it probably was using Mono behind the scenes. Now, I'm saying was for a very important reason. Uh, it's basically no more. They've more or less uh, re-implemented it. We now have .NET and .NET Core, uh, which is a cross-platform implementation of the .NET framework. So basically, everything Mono set out to do, Microsoft now kind of provide it with .NET. So .NET is now a cross-platform uh, uh, implementation of um, you know all of the .NET runtimes, C sharp programming language, the various different other languages like F sharp, etc. So realistically, Mono doesn't really need to exist that much anymore. And I use past tense for a lot of these things because Unity are moving away from it and they're using um, .NET going forward. Uh, same with Godot, etc. So older versions definitely use it. So the thing is, you can't just get rid of Mono because there's still a lot of software still being written today that uses Mono in some way, shape, or form. And that's kind of leading to today's announcement. So if you go to the Mono webpage again, like we looked at it earlier, you'll notice there is this addition here. The Mono project, Mono slash Mono, original Mono, uh, has been an important part of the .NET ecosystem since it was launched in 2001. Microsoft became the steward of the Mono project when it was acquired from Xamarin in 2016. Last major release of the Mono project was in July of 2019, with minor patch releases since that time. The last patch was released in February of 2024. So obviously they were still updating it, but they weren't really adding new features or functionality to it. Uh, we are happy to announce that the Wine HQ, thus my terrible joke to start this, uh, will be taking over the stewards of the Mono project upstream at Wine Mono uh, slash Mono dash GitLab. Uh, source code in existing Mono slash Mono and other repos will remain available, although repos may be archived. Binaries will remain available for up to four years. Uh, Microsoft maintains a fork of Mono Runtime in the .NET slash Runtime repo and has been progressively moving workloads to that fork. That work is now complete and we recommend that active Mono users and maintainers of Mono-based apps uh, frameworks migrate to .NET, which includes work from this fork. We want to recognize that the Mono project was the first .NET implementation on Android, iOS, Linux, and other operating systems. The Mono project was a trailblazer for the .NET platform across many operating systems. Uh, it helped make cross-platform .NET a reality and enabled .NET in many new places, and we appreciate the work of those that came before us. Thank you to all Mono developers. So that is the announcement. Wine HQ, wine you have probably heard of. I'm going to use this next sentence just to trigger the people that I always trigger here. Uh, wine is an emulator of sorts for uh, Linux platform being able to run Windows software on Linux. Now, I am triggering people because uh, wine literally stands for wine is not an emulator, uh, but it's a compatibility layer, basically, that enables you to run Windows applications on Linux platforms. Uh, very cool project. It's interesting that they are going to become the stewards of the uh, mono runtime. Hopefully Microsoft also gave them a donation to go along with this to keep things going. But yeah, Wine is a very successful open source project that has been receiving updates and support for like well over a decade, maybe two decades. It's a very old project and a very successful project. So they should be a good steward for Mono going forward. So I like this move. So that is Wine, uh, the players behind this. There's also this announcement over on the Mono uh, GitHub repository. Uh, pretty much the exact same thing I read early on. So uh, not too exciting there, uh, but you get an idea of exactly what is going on in the world of Mono. By the way, it was Gaming on Linux that brought this to my attention. So if you're interested, go check out that 
that website. Excellent site, especially if you own a Steam Deck, by the way. Steam Deck has really been a boom for uh, Linux users and gaming in general. Uh, but yeah, that is where the original source of this news came from. Pretty big announcement on the whole. Uh, Mono, the uh, cross-platform open source.net framework. The reason why we have C-sharp game engines that run on Mac and Linux and iOS and Android, quite frankly, like Unity would not exist without Mono, uh, even though they refuse to support the project that much going forward and stuck with a really old version of it for years. Uh, this project is a huge contributor to the fact and success and the, the um, evasiveness, I guess you could say, of the C-sharp programming language in the world of game development, because this is the software that made it possible. Although what you again will find is most of these projects have actually transitioned over to using .NET, at least for further newer versions. But a lot of people would still be working on active projects right now that use Mono as an underlying technology. And that, I believe, is ultimately where Wine come in. And hopefully Wine do a good job with it. Uh, again, Wine is a very successful open source project, so I think they will be a decent steward for Mono going forward, it'll also be interesting to see what they do. Do they decide to basically just keep compatibility? Are they just going to do patches and so on? Are they going to fork things off in a different direction? I think there'll be mostly compatibility stuff, you know, bug fixes and that kind of stuff, and not new features. It's probably not an area where we need a fork at this point in time. But ultimately, will be interesting to see how this develops. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what can I say? Mono is dead. Long live wine. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.